Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. So, continuing coverage with the virtual NAM show, January 2021, worldwide. <laughs> and um, yesterday, no, actually two days ago on day one of NAM, I covered what's new in keyboards as of that day. Today, January 20th, this is the day where all the new reveals are supposed to happen. But a lot of keyboard manufacturers did not wait for today. So they already went ahead and announced their new stuff before the show and even a couple of months earlier than that. So let me recap real quick what I did two days ago for new keyboards. Kawhi did the ES520 and 920. Kurzweil has a brand new workstation out, the K2700. Korg, uh, they had the Nautilus back in November. Uh, Nord and Casio and Dexabel, nothing. Nothing new from either of them at this point in time, not in this NAM show anyway. Roland, FP30X, FP60X, FP90X. Those are the new models of the FP30, 60, and 90. And they're not just a little improvements here and there. They are vast improvements. And we'll cover that a little bit later on in the year. Yamaha, they had a great introduction last year of the YC61. This year, the YC73 and the YC88, which are 73 and 88 note equivalents of the YC61. So I'm gonna try and get a YC88 in here because I think that is a really awesome board and I look forward to reviewing that for you all. In addition, Yamaha also introduced the DGX670, the Clavinova 725, and 775. Okay, so now, Wednesday, January 20th, 2021, here is what's new in addition to what I covered a couple of days ago. The biggest news release of what's new. January 20th, 2021, is Joe Biden. He is the new president of the United States, and that is the biggest news of the entire show. Other than that, let's go ahead with what else was released today. Korg had some amazing new keyboards introduced today. They introduced the L1 and the LP380U. Now, if you're familiar with the LP380, the LP380U and the U stands for USB, that is the difference. It added USB functionality. So, I mean, we're still, it's a furniture style thing, and it's 81 and a half pounds, closable lid, 22 watts per side, 44 watts total for speakers, 30 sounds, RH3 action, which is an excellent action, and that's found in the Kronos and the Grand Stage, all that kind of stuff. And it's a 120-note polyphony. The big announcement from Korg, which I think is probably the biggest announcement of everything that um, all the keyboards were announced today at NAMM, this is the biggest one for one simple reason. The Korg L1 is 13 pounds. Let me say it again, 13 pounds. We have an 88 note keyboard from Korg at 13 pounds. This is the Korg L1. It has eight watts per side. It is battery operated, six AA batteries. And it's an entry level LS key action. So if you're familiar with the key action on the Korg LS, it is the exact same key action. There's eight sounds, and it's available in five colors. And the LP380U that I just mentioned, also available in five colors. The price, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly of the price, but I know it's a price that's going to blow you away. <laughs> 
This, I just can't get over it. While other keyboard manufacturers are boasting about their under 30 pound keyboards, 26 pounds, 24 pounds, 25 pounds, that kind of stuff, 88 keys, touch sensitivity, all that stuff, Korg, <laughs> I can't believe it, the L1, 13 pounds, and I know I've said it a few times, but that just blows me away, 13 pounds. I can't wait to get my hands on a review unit of one of those. But keep in mind, this is just an announcement. It's kind of a prototype at this point. So we probably won't be seeing it for a while. Hopefully later on this year. I'm hoping for summer, but that may be a little bit too soon. But we'll see how it goes. I will definitely be getting a review unit of that here. All right. Roland also, in addition to yesterday, introduced a couple of more furniture style 88 key keyboards. And that's the F701 and the RP701. 1399 and $1,499 respectively. 12 watts per side times two, 24 watts total. 256 note polyphony, which is very respectable. 324 tones, excellent. Supernatural pianos, Bluetooth audio, and MIDI over Bluetooth. So that's another thing to look out for. Yamaha, in addition to the YC88 and YC73 yesterday that I mentioned, they have some 61 note keyboards out. EC300 at $249, PSR E373 at $199, and the PSR EW310 at $269. So, that's pretty much it for keyboards. Now, I also cover pro audio reviews, and I will be doing some heavy coverage of microphones, especially podcast slash broadcast microphones. I will be covering a lot of those microphones. Actually, let's see. I'm going to be covering everything from the Zoom ZD1, which is a new microphone, at $79, to the Presonus PD70, also new at $129, the Shure MV7, which I'm sure you've heard about, no pun intended, at $249. And the higher-end podcast mics, the Audio-Technica BP40 at $350, the Shure SM7B at $400, and the Electrovoice RE20 at $450. And I'm also planning on reviewing the new Personas Revelator mic, just announced with switchable pickup patterns, cardioid, figure eight, and omnidirectional. It's going to be around $179. All right. In addition to that, Prol, which is the parent company of Dexabel, has this product, V10 free, all in one battery powered sound system, PA monitor with a 10-inch woofer, 1-inch tweeter, 3-channel mixer, 400 watts peak power, 200 watts continuous power, and I really can't wait to get my hands on one of them if I can. So far, this seems to be available in Europe, but on this side of the pond, eh, I'm not so sure yet. I'll find out, and I'll get back to you on that. Hosa. Now, you all know about Hosa. Cables, connectors, all that kind of stuff. Well, it seems they now got themselves into face masks and gloves, which is a little bit pricey. I mean, you can get face masks for like a dollar a mask. Well, if you want a hose a mask, it's going to set you back about $25. <laughs> Same thing with their gloves. Well, anyway, this is a brief coverage of what's new in terms of keyboards and some related products and accessories. Stay tuned to my channel because we're going to have some really good coverage of new keyboards this year. And we're going to especially cover 
broadcast slash podcast microphones. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.